Yo, what's going on, Sexy Stanley Squad? How you guys doing? It's Try Hard Thursday. And I really wanted to play some Mom and Brigitte today, but apparently people really, they really understood when I said, hey, Mom is a little bit OP, and here's why. And then I played her, and now people are like, oh shit, Mom is a little bit OP. Here's why, and they banned her. <laughs> Understandable. You know, let's start off with some quality Poseidon. Nothing like a good old-fashioned Poseidon video game. It's actually my favorite. Poseidon is actually like, he's just so good. He's fun to play. Like, here's the thing. Poseidon is fun to play. And on top of being fun to play, he's also very good at duel. Those two things combined lead for addiction, which is why I have 11,000 worshippers on him. <laughs> uh, he's also not very hard to play, which is why he's he's played a lot. I just Aegis, right? Like, he ults me, I Aegis the first two seconds, and then I ult the next two seconds. It's two seconds, right? That's how long Aegis works. One and a half. Okay. Um, I don't think he can actually eat my buff. I'm pretty sure Poseidon, as long as I hit my one. If I hit my one, I'm pretty sure that I can get the buff. If I don't hit my one, then I lose the buff anyways. And then it's a normal Poseidon game versus Bacchus era game. Minions but, um, I think, I think I'll hit the one, right? I know it's my first game on. It's fine. I'll hit the one. He didn't even try. What Bakasura player doesn't even try for the invade? Well, whatever. I'm full clearing wave and I'm running to your blue now. Very nice. All right. Honestly, incredible start. You run. You run, sir. No, I missed my one. I mean, we got his Aegis, so I'm happy about it. I had to really focus because I had to kill the minion, instant level my ult while he was running away, catch him with my ult, and get the kill. It was very, it was very brain focused, very brain dependent on if that play worked or not. And it, it, I would say, I would argue we didn't get the kill, but it did work because we got his Aegis. And against Poseidon, getting his Aegis is basically getting a kill in the future. So I will take that 100% of the time. He's going XP camp. I'm going to clear wave and then meet him there. Give me one. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got one. You cannot fight. I was going to go, uh, as you saw in the very beginning of the game, I was going to go Chrono Spend it because I really like the cooldown play. But, like, Bancroft is just so good. I think I said it in my video yesterday, or it might have been Tuesday, I don't remember. But, um, every god that can start Chrono Spend can also start Bancroft. And I think it's incredible. Uh, and I think it's incredible that some people still don't, like, experiment because i see a lot of people like playing poseidon obviously you know i i play duel as as a living so i play a lot of duel <clears throat> i run into a lot of poseidon players and every single time they go chronos pendant unless they're really good and then they'll go bancroft i want you i'm giving you homework today it's try hard thursday i'm try harding you're listening to this video or watching this video because you want to get better presumably so here's my homework for you to get better. Take that God. That God you always start Chronos Pendant on. Take that God. 
go into a duel and queue with Bancroft start. Tell me how it feels. That's all I that's all I want. All I want you to do grab your your Zonkwe, grab your Vulcans, grab your Poseidons, queue the duel, and tell me how it feels with Bancrofts. I promise you, like hands up. No, I'm not crossing any fingers. I promise you, you will enjoy Bancrofts more than Kronos Planet. Especially because you can always buy Kronos Pendant later in the build, but Bancrofts is so strong early on. Like, yeah, I mean, I, you could argue that 20% cooldown is really strong early on too, but when your ability is hit for like 100, do you really give a shit if you have 20% cooldown on them? Or would you rather take your 100 damage abilities and the 200 damage abilities? You know what I mean? I just took two Phoenix shots, like an absolute baboon. Also, my three wasn't on him. My three was on him. My one hit him for a hundred. Oh, he bought defense. Okay. Makes sense. All right. So, by the way, I know you guys watch me play Poseidon a lot, and you're, you probably, like, mimic the way I play him. Um, I actually, believe it or not, I play Poseidon suboptimally. The optimal way to play Poseidon is not to completely max out your three. I... Okay. Hold on. Give me a second. He just ulted and Aegis. Um, it's not to completely max out your three. It's actually to put three points in your three, maybe a fourth if you're feeling frisky, and then max out your two. So you get that extra damage from your two and that attack speed from your two it does give you some attack speed um that kind of starts ramping up a little bit sooner in the game and making your early game even better again with bancrofts it is more optimal to do um but for my own personal ease of mind whenever i try it i don't feel that much of a difference now i know people like live and die by this shit, right like, they'll swear to God that this is the only way to play Poseidon. There's absolutely no way I kill him here, so that's why I just ran away. Um, people will swear up and down that the only way you can play Poseidon is by putting three points in your, in your three and then maxing your two. But for my own ease of mind and for my own personal practice, I've felt that maxing out your three first all the way it's completely fine. It doesn't leave that much of a like a want for damage. But if your goal is to play duel perfectly, and you don't care about like a, any ease of mind or or you know, I guess just like brain dead activities, <laughs> then you can do that. If your goal is perfect duel, then make sure that you put three points in your three and then max your two afterwards. Because you really don't need more than three. I'm going to back now. I'll probably go for the wave, right? There's too many minions to ignore. So I kind of don't even want to go Bancroft here or, or Breastplate here. Um, but I'm going to. And I, I'm going to also go Attack Speed here instead. I really want Tele or Hasten, not Telekines. So I'm going to wait for this. It's probably going to cost me a red buff. But I'm not scared of his damage at all. He started Golden Blade into Shoguns. Like, the amount of damage he's not dealing is crazy. Alright, so I now have 30% attack speed. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, 30% cooldown with an additional 25% attack speed. Which is really good. So I should just be able to win, I think. Like, this isn't going to do anything to me. Jump the wall. Damn, that didn't hit. That is mighty on Fortnite. Oh, well.
Yeah, this is this matchup is really hard for Bakasura, by the way. I guess I on try hard Thursdays, I should probably mention more about like the specific matchups and how they feel. Um this Poseidon matchup versus Bakasura. I almost never get lucky in my matchups anymore, but this matchup is like almost unlosable. I don't even think I ate just a single time this game, actually. That was a nine minute game, not even a nine minute game. I don't even think I used my Aegis a single time. But yeah, this matchup, like basically what you do in this matchup is you let him run around, do whatever you want. Um, he can't invade you because your one knocks him back and stops his two animation. As well as does like 180 damage at rank one. So you can like secure your buff pretty easily doing that. And then on top of that, my GG didn't go through. Um, on top of that, he can't get close to you because your two out trades him. And his alt only gives him one second of CC immunity. So when he alts, you can alt immediately after. His CC immunity will run out right when your alt kicks in. So you don't even have to think about the counter. But yeah, see you guys in game two. Yo, what up, boys? Welcome back to game two. I'm going to play some Mommin. Play a little bit of Mommin. Mommy? Mommy? Hold on, I'm going to my, my Mommin video. Yo, 99.8% like ratio. That's actually one of my most liked videos ever. What in the universe? It's also 30 minutes long, which is pretty crazy. Oh, God, you scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, baby. She just brought me a latte while I was looking at my other monitor. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Bancroft this game. This I don't know if Bancroft is gonna feel better on Mommin, because like I said, I I've only, like I said in yesterday's video when I played Mommin for the first time, I've only ever actually used, um, like I've only started her with Chronos Pendant, or I've played her as a tank. By the way, I think her as a tank is actually the optimal play. Like, kind of a tanky route. But also, what do I know? Ah! Did you see me? I don't think he saw me. He's definitely going to come back to his blue because he dropped the weave down. So he's not going to leave that. Look at that damage. What on the fuck? Do you think... Wow. Dude, my buff clear on this god is so insane, man. Like, he backed because I almost one-hit him. Obviously. Okay. Uh, my buff clear is insane on this god. He backed because I almost one-hit him, and then he literally couldn't get back in time to save his buff. I do the buff faster than some gods do the minis. <laughs> what in the fuck is this clear, my dude? All right, you're not going to kill me. Relax. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep, pumpkin. Um, fuck it. No, my auto. My auto attack. No. I live in a tragic world. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's so hot. It also doesn't help that I ate pizza yesterday. Costco's brand shout out Costco fucking love their pizza it's only a thousand calories for the whole thing and it fills and I can only eat half and it fills me up 500 calories with pizza fog anyways um it's so good too I took it out of the oven and I not only did I burn myself because I'm a child and don't know how to cook 
but also I burned my mouth like really bad. You die here. No. You didn't. You didn't die. One day. Are you gonna all me? Um, I'll hang out here. Yo, he's watching the corner. He knows me. Dude. Isn't it incredible? Isn't it incredible that because I I killed some people in like some weird way, it's just become my way. <laughs> like this will forever be known as Sam's Corner. I kind of just want to go like more life steal. I feel like the life steal is really hit. I don't, I don't really feel the need for Chronos Pendant, to be honest with you. Like, I know that I started Chronos Pendant all those other games. And I was like, like, preaching about how good it is and shit. But it doesn't feel like it's that good. Like, he just gets roasted and toasted, my guy. I don't need cooldown to roast and toast. I need toasts to roast and blowst. Ghost my chost. Jesus! Jesus! What the hell, man? I don't know. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Uh, maxing my two... Actually, maxing my three is better than maxing my two. It gives me more possession damage and more tick damage. So it goes up by 35 base damage, and this only goes up by 25 base damage. And I think the scaling because the of the tick damage is probably higher. So I think it's actually better to max your, your one and then your three. Surprisingly. But that's only if you're like talking about like PvP. If your goal with Mommin, which it shouldn't be, but if your goal with Mommin is to run around and kill minions then um one you should feel bad about yourself and two then i guess you max the two people are allowed to have different goals even if i disagree with them so i'll give you tips even if i don't agree it's the way to play hello why hello there meow you think I'm scared of you? No. Uh -uh. Yep. Yep. Look at that, dude. Look at that, dude. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you back, flip down? Yep. You just have to run away. Like, you actually can't fight me. Please don't, please don't tell me you're thinking of fighting me. Don't tell me you're thinking of fighting me. Just back. I really want to blink on him. <gasps> no. -uh. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even... I blew him up so fast. I didn't even get a chance to dash out of him. The initial damage of my three just nuked him. <clears throat> Jesus. How much does my three do? 180 plus 40 per tick. Not to mention the... Oh. I thought that stun hit. There's no way you want to fight me. There's, there's simply no fathomable way. You're dead. Dead to take damage. 
You're not dead because you shelled, you absolute gigabrain gamer. Damn your intelligence. I have no mana. <laughs> uh, I should probably just go breastplate now. And oh, Mirrodin would go hard. Another reason to not go Kronos Pendant. Because if you go Mirrodin, you alt and then dash in them. Your dash is going to do like so much damage. As long as your two is on them first. You might need to alt two and then dash. But like, I assume if you're alting someone, you've probably already dude. That might just be ignorant of me. Ew. What does my alt do? It goes up by 50 base damage. Sure. I think my alt is definitely meant to be more of like a CC than it is to be an actual ouchy mechanic. Look at that damage. My dash did 258 and it procced my passive twice. So good. Can you do Bull Demon quick with Mammon? I don't know if I ever had a chance to even try Bull Demon. No. She is not a fast Bull Demoner. She's okay. She's definitely an okay Bull Demoner. Oh. I'm, I'm down to fight. I have no cooldowns up. This is not fair. This, is, this isn't fair. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Yo, my dash. My dash. Oh, my God. This is insane, man. Um, let's go this way, see if I can catch him off guard doing his blue or something. Oh, I didn't go in. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. You are so screwed. Yeah, he's just he's just standing there. I'll let the minions handle him. <laughs> All right. I do not do very much damage. Holy. I don't think I'm allowed to use my passive which is like my main damage source on the Titan. I think that's why I was doing no damage to him. Because I'm pretty sure like your passive does percentage of their health also based on percentage of your max mana. I don't know what the math is like that, but it's like your most damaging ability. Well, it's, I guess it's second most to your one, but like it's pretty up there. Um, so the fact that you can't utilize it for objectives like Bull Demon and Titan, it does definitely nerf her. But what I will say to that is that do you need to kill the Titan quick if you can kill them in half of a millisecond? You I mean, like, let's be honest, you probably don't care that much. A most delectable offering. Let's grab the red buff, red pot. Grab beads. And then it's it's Giga Juice time. Time to blink in and explode. 545 power. Well, that actually cleared. That's kind of crazy. We run the exact same speed, so... Oh, so close! Oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, she does so much damage. She's so fun to play. Holy shit. Alright, I'll see you guys in game two. Holy crap. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game number three of Try Hard Thursday. I'm gonna play a little bit of Kalina. I don't really... You can be of assistance. You could win this video game for me. I don't really play Kalina too much. Not because I think it's like, like she's weird or anything. I actually think she's really good in duel and people just don't really acknowledge her worth in duel because she is a little more nuanced in the sense that like nuanced, meaning like her alt is really hard to hit on a player. And if you want to fight with her, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using everything you have on the god and then you're going to alt the wave it, and it's kind of opposite for a lot of other gods so a lot of people don't really connect with the way Kalina plays because in most gods in in smite or in duel in general um they will use one or two abilities on the wave and then use the other ability and alt to initiate a fight and get something going right that's like how most gods in the game play Kalina, it's the complete opposite. You're ulting the wave and then you're using your other abilities to fight, which doesn't feel intuitive to a lot of people. So I understand why she's not played very much. Um, as well as like people don't really utilize the wall mechanic, right? Like I've seen so many games as Kalina and against a Kalina where like the enemy Kalina just doesn't use the wall. Like they're going to die, like Chrono Stun is going to hit you right here and you're going to die and you dash this way instead when you could just walk into the wall and not get stunned, period. You know? So it's not a very intuitive god for sure. And I get that. But, um... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I just get that. That's all I'll say. I get that. Okay, it actually sucks knobs that I didn't hit the backline there. Okay, he missed though. I'm chilling. He started red, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. On Kronos. I feel like if you start red, you're fucked. Because he's not going to have any mana. And now I'm going to go to your blue buff with all my mana. We're going to have enough for, like, an ability. I'm just going to get the minis first. Because I hit five off that. Fine by me. Nice. Fell down. I thought I had shell. Oh, why did I do that? I thought I had shell, dude. I have beads. I just go, you get hit by a three. You just walk into the wall. You're not going to get stunned. Who cares? Oh, you. You see what I was talking about? How people just forget about the wall thing. <clears throat> you see what I was talking about? If I used my brain before buying a relic, I would have shell and live. What a what a bozo move that was. Did you just get these, by the way? You didn't know. I want to get the soul leader stacks here. Get it, please. Thank you. I only got four. That's fine though. I have my alt, so I can just clear away with these now. Clear away with these. I do want to stay here while he does my wave. Just because Soul Eater. Um, doesn't look like he cares that much. I do want to meet again at my wave. I don't want to waste any Soul Eater stacks. They're precious. They're precious. If I can get Soul Eater stacks fast, I will. Oh, good ult. You can stun me. I don't care. You're not going to hurt me. All right. Red buff is coming up. He does have more mana than me. I might should just give him red buff. I'm not in danger of dying to him like ever. 
So I don't really need to worry about that. Let's alt this wave. And then get the stacks. Thank you. And then I'm just going to get the minis here. I'll go for the buff, like fuck it. But I think it's a bad idea. Because now if he's if he's a quality Kronos, he'll go for my <coughs> for my blue buff and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna back as fast as possible. I'm watching him out on the minimap right now to see which way he goes. He wasn't even moving on that last auto attack. Normally on their last auto, you can kind of predict their movement pattern. I think he just backed. I think he just backed. I think my blue buff is safe, and I think that he's going to go to his blue buff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear mine as fast as I can. I'm going to zoom my ass over there. Oh, he got it already. Damn. I missed my, uh, my three slice. Um, all right, shell down. I'll take that. Maybe this kills. Uh, I thought maybe he'd walk into it. <clears throat> nice. Holy shit. My three did a lot of damage there. And I have Soul Eater finished on this upcoming wave. Obviously, I can't kill the tower here, but... Soul Eater's finished. There's nothing up on the map right now. He can't win the fight because I have beads and Soul Eater. He'd, he'd probably die if he tried. And I think he knows that, so I think he's, he's not going to give it a shot. Let's just go Crusher now. I could go Genji's here. I do want a little bit more cooldown because I only have 10% right now. Once I get... Transcendence finished. I'll have 20%, but... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Did you get these? I assume you did. You didn't? Wow. I don't know where the treasure chests are either. I've been missing them, clearly. Grab this. Oh, I just now realized you get a stack off of the treasure chest itself and whatever pops out of it. Yo, he's going book poly. If he gets late game, this is going to hurt. I don't assume he'll make it to late game, but you never know. I don't want you to hit me. Bonk. Um, red buff is spawning. I want to clear this wave. Uh, no. I want to go get red. A very high damage. I, I missed everything. All right. I fudged that up something fierce. But I do get the tower off of it. Thank goodness. And not only do I get tower, I get red buff. Actually, I'm going to go super omega gross greed and I'm going to go for his blue buff too. Because I don't have mana. I'd rather blue buff than red buff. Do this. <laughs> very, very good damage. Surely you're not going for my blue, right? I don't hear him. You better not be. Okay, he's not. Grab this. We'll grab... Oh, you know what? Maybe I go beat stick actually, because he's going into Bancroft's and he has Poly. So let's uh 
Let's rain check our crusher into next item and grab a beat stick immediately. That's going to give me a lot more flexibility when it comes to the fights I can take because I'm going to have lifesteal and he's not. He wants to back, obviously, for Bancrofts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, lucky duckling. Alright. Alright. Do not look back. Perfect. Perfect. Fear is a powerful controller, everyone. Fear will mess you up more than anything. <laughs> in life and in smite. You can't you can't fear the world. Or else you're not gonna experience it. This man feared I was doing Bull Demon and lost the game because of it, basically. Oh. That three does so much damage, man. That's really good damage. I don't think he can kill me. I have beads if I need it. Okay. So if you don't know how um, Chrono Salt works with Blink, basically what happens is you're not allowed to alt backwards through the area that you blinked. So like your alt, your alt timer starts after you blink. Let's put it that way. So he blinked. The fight went on for five seconds. And then um, I knew like basically exactly where he blinked is where he'd pop up. If he doesn't stun me here, he dies. Nice. Minions, you are really pissing me off here. I can't tank. Get in there. Just take like two autos. That's all I need. Just get him to walk you, really. Like, <laughs> if you get him to walk you, I can do the rest. <laughs> all right, GG. Kleena, the very, very fun god. I don't play her very often. She just kind of slips my, mo my mind as a god that I like. I, I really don't know why. I, I do enjoy playing her. But anyways, either way, regardless, doesn't matter. Let's go on to game four, boys. I'll see you there. <clears throat> What's up, my Giga Juice Gaming Big Brain Mofuckers? How you doing? We're back. Game number four. Mm, what do we want to play? I was looking at the Kali. I was looking at the Kali, but Kali seems a little bit basic, you know? Like, I... I Everyone knows I'm decent with Kali. I mean, right choice, little lark. what are people not like? What if I were to like slap this out and I was really good with it? Like, what would people not expect? Hercules? This world oh, what the? F I hate this matchup. This is Bananigans, dude. If you don't know what Bananigans is. It's Bazinga and Shenanigans at the same time. I'm playing some fucking Bananigans. Oh, this guy's a good player too. This is the guy I fought a bunch of times. Um, I don't know why everything's 
lighting up yellow whenever I hover over it. Um... Okay, let's just start with items. I was looking at the pretty colors and I, <laughs> I lost I lost my train of thought about everything. Uh, I think beads would actually go unbelievably hard here, by the way. Blink or beads. Yo! Okay, imagine this. By the way, this guy invades every single game, so... You know. We're just gonna level 3 fight him. Fuck it. Or he in, he invaded me like the past 11 teen games I played with him. I missed. <laughs> right, but he would never expect a double back, right? Oh, I, I fucked it. Wait, I didn't fuck it. Nice. I find me. Boop. My wave. <laughs> Dude, I'm so annoying. Holy. Holy. Hercules the Annoyatron. My God. Um... I mean, we just clear, right? Just take it slow. Who cares? Honk. Honk. I hit him. He does have his kitty cat form now. I'm just going to get these uh, minis so that I can... Wait, why am I not five? Oh, because I didn't get the actual minis from Red Buff. Never mind. I understand. Hello. All right, now I'm level five, which means I'm pretty sure. You get five off that? Oh, you do. That sucks. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, it's not that bad actually. Who cares? All right, I ult this wave, and then I clear the front line, and then I back. And then I get Transcendence, a couple of potions, and I go get my blue buff. He's going Soul Leader first. All right, what if I went... No, I don't want to go Soul Leader. I was going to say, what if I mimicked the Soul Leader, slapped one on myself? But I think that's a bad decision. Mainly because I instead could just go like Breastplate. Or I could just go regrowth and then beat stick. That's probably even better. Hello. Okay. Why is my attack speed so bad? No. Oh. Wait, why didn't he alter anything? Why didn't he alter anything? Uh, this guy messaged me, by the way, when I fought him a bunch of times that day. I'm pretty sure this guy messaged me. And I told him that if he, uh, if he sticks with learning the game and playing duel and like practicing, uh, that I think he could genuinely be an MMR capped dueler. I think he's a very good player. The day that I fought him. A bunch. You will never beat me in a fight. You will never beat me while I'm ahead. And I have transcendence. I mean, like, you're not going to be transcendence, period. This item bangs. Uh, let's upgrade the alt. If I greed this wave, I could die. So naturally, I'm going to fucking greed it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you know what I could do? Yo, I could do the blink pull. Oh, no. 
I did it, but I didn't get the one follow-up. Oh, it would have been so cool. It would have been so cool, dude. It would have been so cool. Ouch. Oh. Okay. Pop. All right. Oh. Oh shit. Nice. Nice. Can I get red buff is the question. I think for sure. There's my three. Yeah. For sure. Let's go get regrowth now. Um, and then go beat stick. Just like the plan was. Just like the plan has always been. I do want my blue buff. My blue bee. Got this. He might be able to grab my treasure chest here, but I don't really care that much. It is what it is. All right. My transcendence is fully stacked, so I don't really care about that. Did you grab my treasure chest? You did. Life isn't fair. I mean, realistically, what's he doing here? By the time his soul leader actually gets online, I already have beat stick finished, probably. really care about like if he hits me because I do so much more damage than him it's kind of absurd alright don't hit me don't fucking do it oh you live through that How many times is that going to happen today? I get a kill and then I die to tower before I get my auto off. It's like the third time this that's happened this this day. This video even. Not even this day. Just this video. Uh, honestly, I'm down to go meditation for the only reason that I'm going to spend 800 gold upgrading it for cooldowns. Or I, it could be used as a knockup as well. That could be really good to stop... Um, stop his tiger stun but I don't know he's getting so close when he tiger stuns anyways you do not even come close to winning this fight this is again one of those situations where there's not a world you live in that could beat me in a fight right now He already used his tiger stun. All right. Easy red buff. Easy red buff. And an easy beads as well, I'm pretty sure. I got his beads there too. So alt and relic for alt. But I get the red buff as well. Sounds good to me. You have your blue buff on, but I just want to get the timer for it. I probably don't win this fight. Yeah, see, he's going beat stick, but the only thing he's beat sticking is my my three. Which is still good, but like there's nothing compared to if I had Solid or anything, you know? I don't know if you win this. That, okay, you know what? I got to give it to him. That tiger stun, that quickly after hitting an auto two tiger stun, 
or he he auto tiger stunned and then two'd. But that quickly after landing, automatically knowing where that two is on your placement is so difficult. So I can't even be mad. That he just outplayed me. He actually just outplayed me. GG gamer. I'm not even mad. That was impressive. Uh, I'm going serrated here because 20% pen plus my cooldowns are like really long, even with max cooldown. Like I have 30% cooldown right now and there's still eight seconds. So. Oh, wait for beat stick to run out. Pop my three. You just tiger stun the minion. Those tiger stuns be coming up quick. Alright. Oh, interesting. It's interesting that he waited up there to heal rather than fight. I need to hit him before he hits my wave. His beat thick. Oh, I missed that. That sucks. Oh. Alright. I'm actually just being outplayed. Fair enough. And all at the wave. You get red buff. He's playing it really well. I hate this matchup because um, the tiger stun takes priority over the Herc stun. So I have to be so careful about when I'm using all my abilities. Whereas he can just kind of willy nilly throw them out and hope they land. So it's a much easier matchup to play for him. Um. I do think in terms of fighting potential, it's probably pretty even. But it is much easier to play for the Wukong in this matchup. Which kind of stinks. Because ease of play does have a big effect on if uh, if you can win the matchup or not. If I make one mistake and I die, he has to make four to die. You know, obviously that has a big gameplay impact. Potentially. All right. Fine by me. Land on those minions. Um. All right. Well, I do get his tower here. Nice. I was hoping I would get his blue. This is more important than his tower, by the way, at the farm. Just wondering why I'm over here. Even though I said, like, I get his tower now. He's getting extra farm right now. Because the, the fights are so goddamn even. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Oh god, am I dead? Oh. How did my one not not hit that? How did my one not hit that? I was past him. Like literally on my screen, like he was standing here. You see my screen. He was standing here, and I had one past him. Like I was here, past him. And then his two hit me afterwards. Like after he should have already been stunned and shit. I don't know. Whatever. That one is a death that I don't like. I don't. I don't ever really like. Oh man, I shouldn't have died there. 
Normally, I'm surprised by the damage rather than like upset that I died. That time, I'm like, I. That one was kind of like a high res moment. He does a blink. Another 500 pot purchase. Not good, in my opinion, but well, what do I know? See, this this is the thing that he knows he wins these. Oh god, I just killed myself. Actually, with the double um with the double tap alt, I don't I don't think I killed myself. We'll just get this tower real quick. Oh god, I killed myself again. That fucking soul leader, man. Oh. The soul leader plus the serrated. Yo, actually. It's not this, not that. This. Contagion? Because he's stunning me like multiple times per fight. I know it only says once, but he stunned me like six times that fight. <clears throat> I could just go Toxic Blade. Actually, I might even be better. What's your pen percent at? 30%? Toxic Blade might be better. And then I can finally upgrade that. Fuck me, this matchup is so hard for me, man. Because I have to be so precise. And he's just like, Ugh. you know, like, <laughs> he's just waiting me out, man. And I can't wait him out. Like, that's the thing. I have to make the first move because if I wait for him, then I'll never, it'll never work. And then he's going to blink on me, maybe. No, he's backing out for his double defense. Mid guardian. I really like the mid guardian play here. Never mind about mystical mail. I don't know what the fuck that is. I take everything I just said back. Oh, I'll grab this. Perfect. Perfect. That toxic blade did a number. That toxic blade did a number. Do I have one minion? Yeah, I do. I have such high attack speed with my three active that if I just have one minion, I should be fine to like get the, the Phoenix. Um, he gets red buff, but that is what it is. Wait, he doesn't? I would love to pick that up. Is he coming this way? Alright. That's fine. Let's grab this and this. Pop it. Honestly, I might as well grab a chalice and some potions too. For your pathetic lives. There's no bull demon up. There's no buffs up. I'm very scared of him blink stunning me into the, the, the fire of the, the blink. That's what I'm nervous about. All right. 
fine. Just wait it out and use my three. Oh. But he bought the wrong blink. That is not the blink that wins you the game. I have serrated, so I'm just autoing these down. If I got stunned there, I died. So it's a good thing I didn't. Um, what's your cooldown at? Alright. I can't win there. That's fine. That's fine. I have to be a little more patient. If I die, I probably lose my Phoenix, right? So, like... It's much safer for me to just chill, sit back and wait it out. <clears throat> also, I can't help but think that bees would have been so much better for me than meditation. I thought meditation might do well because I can like cheese that shit really heavy, but turns out I don't like cheese that much. I'm just going to get red buff. It's a better play. Alright. 500 pot, 3k pot, red buff. This is a really intense game, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. Alright. Fine by me. I think I can kill him here. Uh I don't I can't kill him here. He's too fast. He's too fast. What? Wow. That is so unlucky. Fuck it. That is so unlucky. Yo, my blink hit him, but it just didn't like tick fast enough. Oh my god. Damn. That sucks. A bit media. I can't believe that. That was game winning right there. I won the game so easy right there. Thought maybe he would fuck around and do Bull Demon. My red buff is gone now. Oh, whatever. Okay, and then he just, I, I just died. I literally just lost the game. No, he didn't. That was close. Holy shit. His tiger stuns had priority over my one there. You just saw it. That almost lost me the game. Straight up. That's why this matchup is so bad for me. Yeah, I get this, I think.
Oh. GG. GG. I double tapped the boulder. Oh, no, I didn't. It only hit once, but it hit for 700 damage. I guess 500 pot, 3k pot red buff, right? 700 damage boulder doesn't seem that insane. But holy crap, what an intense game. That, that player is really good. Like, I know that it was a bad matchup for me, but every time I fight that guy, that Raven guy, like I said, I've mess I messaged him. I private messaged him and I told him, I think he can be an MMR cap player. He's a very good player. Every time I fight him, it goes, it's like up in the air, which is, by the way, there's like two people in the fucking planet that games go like that for me. I will say he had an advantageous matchup there, so it probably would have ended a little bit earlier if he had a different god, but at the end of the day, like we're both warriors. We both had to make good plays. He played that very well. Very good game. To end Try Hard Thursday on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace.